Today we're going to start the assembly of the Prometheus system and we'll start by assembling the Prostruder. Here is a link to the installation instructions that was provided with the Prometheus system. This kind of came in the box with the rest of the parts. Now I've laid out the parts here for the Prostruder piece. Um, assembly is very straightforward. We're basically just putting these two pieces together and assembling it with a washer on one side like this. Then we shove the bolt through. Of course, you know, they never want to go through like they're supposed to. Once you get it pushed through, we're going to shove a washer on the other side. And then we'll put a bolt back. All right, so now we're getting the last one in. Remember, these are just finger tightened. Uh, we will tighten these here in just a moment. Next step is we're gonna take these, these brass inserts. Uh, there's a, a smaller diameter and larger diameter. Of course, the smaller diameter is the part that presses into the protruder. And there's three of these, there's three holes. Uh, pretty straightforward to insert. Sometimes they're a little difficult, um, but you can get them in there. It's, it's not too terribly bad. It makes it a lot easier if you don't drop them like I do. Once all the brass inserts are in place, I find it makes it a little easier to get them all flush if you just kind of press them against the flat surface of like your table or, or whatever work surface you, you're currently working on. Like this, you just kind of place it in, get a little flat and just push it down. It, it snaps right into place. So the next thing we're gonna do is just go ahead and hand tighten these down. Uh, get them good and tight. Don't over tighten them yet. I'll show you in just a moment uh, exactly how to get them to the correct tightness. But I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward until I've, I've gotten these at least hand tightened down because it, this part is a bit of a pain. Uh, once you start spinning them, uh, the bolts tend not to wanna stay in place. Uh, you'll have to grab a pair of pliers and, and hold them down. Once we get everything hand tightened, you can check that you have them tightened down enough. The documentation says to look for 1.5 millimeters of, uh, of extra bolt hanging outside of the nut. So you wanna tighten them down until each one of these shows right at 1.5 millimeters, which is a little difficult to measure, but uh, it, it seems to be pretty straightforward to get it to this, to this tightness here. So you wanna do that for every single one of the bolts. And once that's been tightened down enough, we're gonna take one of these black plastic inserts and slide it inside the brass fitting straight down and then use one of these plastic collars to slip in between each one. Just kinda of lifts up and slides directly underneath the plastic here. Then we're going to take a 50 millimeter piece of PTFE tubing and you want to make sure it's at exactly 50 millimeters. The next step is to bevel out the end of your PTFE tubing. I'm using a pocket knife here. Uh, you can use an X-Acto knife or whatever you have handy. The instructions aren't very clear on the, whether this is supposed to be done on one side of the tube or both sides. I've gone ahead and uh, beveled out both sides. You'll want to take this and place it and push it all the way in. It wasn't until well after shooting this video and into some of my later testing that I've realized that to get this in a little bit smoother, you need to remove the little plastic U-shape collar uh, and push down on the black plastic as it slides in and out. That'll allow a, like a assembly and disassembly. You'll only want to keep that little plastic U-collar in there 
while while it's in use. Uh, when you're pulling it out, just, just yank that little U piece of plastic out, hold down the black uh, insert, and you'll be able to freely move the PTFE tubing in and out. As you can see here, I, I struggled with this for a good couple of minutes, probably more than I'm even going to show here in the video as it does get quite boring. This was the, the last step though, so we're not going to move into anything else. Uh, the next video will be the protruder assembly, which is a bit more complicated. Uh, to give you an idea, that the one piece of PTFE tubing that is still remaining will go into the hot end, the two copper uh, holes that are top, those will be fed from your protruders and that's where the filament comes in and they kind of mix into this one piece and then go into your hot end. And as you can see here, this is what the finished product would look like without the two pieces of tubing from the extruder. Thanks for watching. Questions and comments can be left in the box below. And if you like what I'm doing, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Until next time.